developing the programme allows us to link in to not only a regional and local effort and to partner with other schools, but it, it hooks us into a link with the schools network, which links across schools and creates collaboration across the country, but also internationally, that our staff will be able to tune into the latest developments in other countries and with other practitioners and to collaborate and link with them through research and through online practice that means that we can develop the very, very best practice in learning and teaching and pedagogy and impact on raising standards across the piece. Like any outstanding school, we always want to maximise the impact of our best practitioners. And for us, it was a case of making sure that we choose the most motivated people for the lead practitioner scheme, those that have already got the respect of their colleagues, already having an impact in their own individual areas, and importantly, those that we know can actually then motivate colleagues on a much wider basis across the school. So in some ways, they were almost self-selecting. Also, we're committed to celebrating and valuing the work of our colleagues, and the lead practitioner scheme allows us um, an external uh, accreditation that helps reward them um, in a way that's uh, separate to rewards that are intrinsic to the school. They understand that the development that they get there links in perfectly with the various different national criteria for threshold, for example, for people who want to work toward becoming an SLE. Once again, we thought that the um, partnership between very experienced teachers along with less experienced teachers with a common goal, which was to actually hit all the buttons for outstanding in terms of what happens in the classroom, we're, we're met in, 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 a, in a very um, uh, dramatic way as a result of following really the, the structures and the disciplines that the Lead Practitioner Initiative has given us.